What's good everyone, it's your main man destroyers, and I'm back, surprisingly, right? Here I am, hello, welcome back to myself and you. Anyways, uh, just got done building my PC, still have an old graphics card, but hopefully this new PC will, will do the job when it comes to me wanting to render, and uh, you know, hopefully I'll be able to keep up with, with content, because before rendering a... Rendering a, you know, 15 minute video to, for me took about three to four hours. It's pretty bad. So I'm hoping now with this new PC, it'll be a whole different story. I mean, hell, I'll take two hours. Two hour render time, cool, whatever. It's a video a day, hopefully. I'm not saying I'm gonna do that, but I'm just saying it's a possibility. But we'll get more, in, more into that here in a little bit. But first off, um, uh, here's the C63 that I built uh, yesterday, I think. Yeah, it was yesterday. Go ahead and show you guys the upgrades. Uh, we will start all the way here. Conversion as usual. Stock engine. Rear wheel drive, of course. We're going to leave it NA just because, you know, why not? Um, arrow, you guys don't really need to see that. You, know, you can pretty much see from that picture there. We are on sport tires, fronts are 255, and the rears are a whopping 315, and the reason they are 315 is because it is, uh, it's a heavy bitch, just saying, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, you know, that's all race, uh, this is all going to be race up until the weight, I think we are at, yeah, boom, right there. Is that sport? Jesus. Um, I'm not awake yet, okay? I'm not awake. I, 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 I don't know where I was going with that. Either way, let's get into the engine. Race intake. Race manifold. Race fuel. Race ignition. Exhaust. Race cams. What do we do with the cams? Race. I, I, I have a feeling. Okay, never mind. I, I lied. Sport valves. Okay. Race block, what about the pistons? Stock pistons, stock oil and cooling, and a race flywheel. Alright, now for Zipthoon, <coughs> you got 30 psi in the front, 22 in the rear. There's the gearing right there for you guys, let you guys you know, pause it if you want to look at it, but there it is. Don't want to read out all those numbers. Blah. Alright, uh, 3 degrees of camber in the front. Nothing all the way down until you get to caster, which is seven. We got a uh, 30 and 20 for the roll bars. Springs are actually surprisingly really close. I did not think they were that close. It's uh, 675 and 647. I did not think they were that close. I maybe I didn't tune that. I don't know. Uh, 9282, 58, 52, 4080 for the brakes, and the dip is locked. All right, so. First time on the game today, like I said, I just woke up, you can probably hear it in my voice. Also, this mic quality, it's coming from this new headset I got, I don't know if I like it, I have to plug in my other mic and see if it still does that like weird, uh, I have like a really weird buzzing noise, so I have to see if that's still a thing, cold tires, oh my god, don't hit the wall. I am on the wheel, I'm on my Thrustmaster TX, and uh, yeah, not not as good as some of the people I've been seeing on the wheel as of late, but it's like, Jesus, man, you guys are already, like, amazing, what the hell, and you know what, sorry for this noise, gotta unplug the headset, I completely forgot that I was charging it, I hate wires, and that's the main reason I bought this uh, G933 headset, is because I don't like wires. Come on, kick out. Alright, here we go. First real lap begins, right? The lap counter in the bottom, bottom left is lying.
No, 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 no. Under, under. And we're in the fucking dirt. Um, some of you, some of you may notice I'm using the the motion effects, and that's just because I didn't want that. I didn't want that stale look of like nothing moving. You know what I mean? Just seeing like the car. Uh, I have it on normal. I could put it on sim, but I feel like sim is a little too insane, in, in my opinion. But who knows? We may give it a shot right here. Stay on the track or not. A little dip ain't bad. Are warmed up. Am I? Probably not. There we go. I think I'm dead. Now, um, normally I would be running clutch on here, and I'd be using the auto clutch feature on the wheel, but <clears throat> I keep on having this problem of sometimes when I go to hit the clutch when I'm at lock, and I think it's when I'm making a left turn, no, it's a right, where I will grab the wrong buttons, and I'll end up hitting either start or change view. And uh, yeah, kind of throws you off sometimes, especially if you had to start and you just go to a dead stop and you like the lead car. It's happened to me a couple times while uh, I was leading. Uh, oh my god, excuse me, guys, terribly sorry. I'm dead. Oh, oh. All right, let's uh, let's go back to the pit here. I probably could have just went and got tires, but that's not that's not what I'm trying to do. Okay. Um, we're gonna put clutch back on. Uh, okay. <coughs> we'll see. We'll see what happens here. And I'll show you guys the wheels settings here as well uh, after a couple laps. I also stall a lot when I'm using the clutch, which is a big problem. Oh my god. I didn't hit the brakes hard enough to hopefully slide me out. I probably did it too late. You know, it's pretty crazy to think that, you know, I've heard of very, very few, I don't want to say a lot, because there's, there are, you know, some people out there like me who have had their, their wheel, their Thrustmaster since, you know, close to launch, Forza 5, 
but mine's still alive and kicking. I mean, the only problem I have right now is is the wire, like the wire that goes, uh, you know, from the wheel to the Xbox or PC, wherever you can use it. Sometimes it like loses connection. See, that's why I, that's why I turned off clutch right there. Oh my god, I would have been able to bring that back. But uh. Yeah, sometimes it loses connection and I can't I can't get it to reconnect for like a good 10, 15 minutes. I'm sitting there struggling, struggling, struggling. And I'm sure there's other people out there doing the same thing. And at first I thought <clears throat> it was the part of the cable that breaks away. But it's not, at least in, in my case, it's actually... Uh... Sorry. Kind of focused up a little second here. You know, hold on. But in my case, it's I I feel like part of the wire right before the breakaway is is messed up because like if I bend the wire slightly in that spot, it'll it'll gain connection, and then I have to sit it down in the right spot or let it hang in the right spot. And oh, such a pain in my ass. No, the under. Oh, we are way too inside. Oh, ugly, ugly, ugly. Actually, you know what, dude? I just, oh my god, I forgot. <clears throat> When you're a single player, I completely forgot you can just... Oh my god. Oh my god. You know what, uh, I'll show you guys the wheel settings as well right now, because I did kind of want, I want to turn down the force feedback to maybe like 90. But uh, everything up top, normal. You get down to vibration, this is where everything changes. Uh, I am using... Uh, settings that Reeb sent me. I'm sure you guys know I Reeb, part of uh, Inertia. But uh, we got 90 vibration. I'm at 100 force feedback. I think he said he runs like 70. Uh, I'm using 540, 43 steering linearity, uh, 80 force feedback understeer, 90 minimum force, 40 wheel damper, and 100 centering spring. Or center spring, whatever, whatever, okay? Okay. Let's try this. I can turn off auto clutch. Get a tire check here. Okay, 22, not bad. Yeah, these uh, settings that Reeb gave me are. Pretty noise. I would run nine hundred, but it's still. To me, it still doesn't feel as good as it should. Like, don't get me wrong. Forza, turn 10. If you're watching, you got the wheel feeling pretty damn right. I can't lie. Huge improvement over the last two games. Forza 5 wasn't bad when it came to the wheel. Everything else on Forza 5 was a little, uh... But yeah, this one... You guys got the wheel right, in my opinion. I mean, you may disagree, but that's what it, opinions are for, right? They're meant to differ and occasionally be the same. Oh, oh, well. Oh no! Well, that happened. Alright, well, 
I think that's going to do it for this one. Like I say, guys, welcome back. Hopefully I can keep keep this content flow going. I really hope I can. This is uh, something that I feel like I've missed doing. I feel like it's something that uh, something that's kind of been a part of me that's missing. You know what I mean? Like playing other games, I'm like, man, I should be recording. I should be streaming. But uh, Forza always seems to bring it back. It really does, and I really hope that if I can balance other games and play other games as well, maybe even you know, put some videos videos up of other games, you know, that'll keep me in it. But anyways, guys, it's me, Man Shores. Getting the hell out of here, and I'll see you guys later.